Well, hi, and thanks for listening. Nicholas here from Suburban FM. That's S-U-B-U-R-B-A-N-F-M. Well, today I'm going to show you about docs.com. So basically what you do is you go to uh, www.docs.com. So docs is Microsoft's new online version of Word and um, the Office Productivity Suite. So basically you just got to click on the sign in button comes up and the way it works it's linked with Facebook which makes it kind of handy if you want to share documents with your friends all you do is just uh, use the Facebook application and your document is being shared all right so I'm signed in now I'll click on my docs up the top all right so here's the file which I created earlier it's called resume so what it actually does is it grabs your employment details from Facebook and chucks it into a document there's nothing in here because previously I uh, kind of deleted it. But uh, I'll go back to my docs and let's just create a new document. So mm -hmm. add a document. Let's go Word. We got Excel and PowerPoint as well. So it's just like Google Docs. Um, it's probably a bit more visually appealing than Google Docs. Google Docs looks a bit like uh, Office 2000. And the great thing about it, it also gives you this link here. If you want to share it with a friend, just copy that, put it in an email. All right, so uh, heading one. Heading one. I got the content. So it's just like Word as you would no use it on a normal computer. The only difference is you need that active internet connection. Change the title of the document over here. And once you're done, click on Save. Alright, so that's been saved. And uh, once you've done that, you can actually share it with viewers. So. Uh, Let's share it with all of my friends. So that's all of my Facebook friends. And I can also post it to my Facebook profile. Click on Allow Access. Uh, that's been done. And editors, I only want me to be the editor. So if I was to go to Facebook now. My profile. There's that document right there. How easy is that? Not too difficult. There it is. A viewable file only by the person on Facebook or any of your friends on there. And I'll just test it with this URL. And that works as well. So essentially what you can do is if you say got a podcast or if you want to get documents out, you can get it out via Twitter put in that short URL, and everyone has access to the document then. Thanks for listening. This is Nicholas, your host. More information, jump online to www.subuarbanfm.com.